Hi everyone, I'm sorry if today's audio isn't great. Now you might be wondering where are you or why are you? Well, where am I? I'm along Katipunan Avenue. Let me show you around. Now you might be thinking, well, where exactly along Katipunan? And that I can't tell you. I went here by motorbike and I chose this position on purpose because I know behind me is a bunch of cell phone towers. And today's test is about globe versus smart. And if I make such a video, people are going to say, well, maybe it's your location. Maybe it's, you know, where you are. Maybe the globe tower is closer. Maybe the smart tower is closer. I'm sorry, the noise here is incredible with the traffic. Anyway, behind me are cell towers and I've used an app on my cell phone, which is called, uh, let me see, Network Cell Info. And this actually gives you a chart showing you how strong the signal is. And we're pretty much even between smart and globe. I also did some comparison measurements further down the road and they were much worse. So I can be relatively sure that these are globe and smart cell phone towers. So we're definitely in the right place and this is probably the best test. Now if you look over there you can see the masts with the cell phone antennas. They look like they're directional but of course they put them all the way around the tower so it does a full 360 in this area. Now aside from big towers like this, you'll also often find um, they'll put them on top of like buildings, commercial buildings because one of the biggest hurdles that Globe and Smart have in rolling out better internet connection like LTE and 3G internet or even just general cell phone coverage is getting permission to put up these cell towers because nobody wants them near their property. Sorry the noise here is so loud with the motorbikes but hopefully the microphone will do its job well. So this is one of the hurdles they have. But I've managed to find one. I knew this one is here and that's exactly why I went here. Um, in fact, when I was riding the Ancus, he was like, where are you going? And I was like, um, not exactly sure, but just keep going this way. And then when I see it, I'll tell you. Um, so that's how I got here. Anyway, let's bring out this cell phone and take a little look at how the stats are. Now, I don't think you can see my screen because it's so sunny out here. So let me move into a shaded area. Now, I don't know how well you can see on camera, but that is minus 56 for smart LTE, which is a very, very good signal. At my home, I get around minus 110. So this is a very good signal. Um, I do have a dual SIM phone, but what I'll do is I'll test smart first, and then we'll swap over to Globe and do the same test. So one of the primary tests we're going to do is actually just a basic speed test. So let's begin with that. So my phone is now on the ground, which isn't ideal because there is some you know, stuff blocking it, but I needed somewhere where we can get some shade so you can actually see the screen. Let's see what kind of test we get on Smart LTE. Okay, so we got 16 down, 14 up. Now, one thing to consider is that it's not just about the cell tower itself. It's also about the internet connection that's feeding that cell tower and how many people around here are connected to it. What I want to do is another speed test. Now I'm standing up because when I was sitting down there, I'm blocked by some of this stuff. So I just want to do another speed test standing up so we have the best chance of the, you know, the best results possible. Uh, let me try and, there you go. Okay, that's doing a bit better. We're getting around 17 meg down, 18 meg. Now, another thing to consider is that this is like, what, 3 p.m., 4 p.m. on a Sunday. If you do this speed test at night, uh, for instance, midnight, 2 a.m., you normally get much higher results because there's fewer people using it. Um, in my home, I can get maybe five to 10 meg during the day, but by midnight, I can get 20, 25 meg. So that time we actually got a lot better. Let me move the phone into the shade so you can see it. So you can see we got 18 down and 18 up, which is really quite impressive. This is smart LTE. Let's do one more test so we can average them out. I know you probably can't see the phone on the camera, but Oh, look at that, wonderful. 20, 25, getting really good results here because literally the cell tower is just over there. But like I said, it also depends on how many people are connected and the connection that's going to the cell tower, whether they've got fiber, etc. So again, let me move this into the shade so you can get a better look at the screen. So you can see we've got 26 meg down and 18.7 meg up. That's pretty impressive. Let me swap to the Globe SIM card and see what kind of results we get. So I've now set the Globe SIM card to my primary SIM. And if you look down here, this is the one you want to look at because the one at the top is still smart. So you want to look at this one in the bottom left. Okay, I know it's really hard to see on camera, but there you go, it's down to about minus 62. So let me do a speed test while we hold it in this sweet spot here. Again, I know you can't see the screen very easily, but I will put it in the shade once the test finishes so we can get a better idea or so that you can actually see properly. I'll just hold it here in this sweet spot for now so that we give it the best chance of succeeding. 
So I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I can see it's around 14 megabytes or megabit per second. And that's actually probably one of the best speeds I've ever had from Globe LTE. So standing like literally, I don't know, what's that? Maybe 150, 200 meters from the cell tower. That's some pretty impressive speeds from Globe. So 15 down, let me zoom in, there you go. 15 down and 21 up. Sorry, I know the focus probably isn't ideal, but considering how sunny it is, that's a pretty good test. Okay, let's try again one more time. Oh wow, that is that is the fastest I've ever seen globe. 24 meg down. Wow. 25.16. That is honestly the fastest I've ever had from globe LTE in Metro Manila. So 25 down and it looks like it's going to be about 20 up. That is very impressive. I remember one time I was next to another globe tower and the maximum I could get was 10 megabit. It was capped. Basically it would hit 10 and then it would just go 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. It couldn't go past that. So I have a feeling that cell tower was capped. But this one, we just got 25 down and 20 up. That's pretty good for Globe. I don't know why I have such like bad experience with their service elsewhere. It might just be because they don't have enough cell towers, whereas Smart are really pushing to get like more towers, more towers, more towers. Um, so there you go. What's the point of this video? I just wanted to see what is the difference between Smart and Globe and what is the top speed if you really come like this close to a cell tower. Um, again, it does depend on the network or the uh, internet connection that's powering these. Now someone might comment down below and say, hey, that's not even their cell phone tower. They don't have a tower there. It's possible that I'm wrong and these aren't even used by Smart and Globe. But I can tell you that when I look at the meter on my cell phone, this is the spot where I get the best signal. If I go down there, it gets much weaker. If I go down there, it gets much weaker. If I stand directly across from these towers here, I get the best signal. So maybe they're not cell phone towers for Globe and Smart, but if they're not, they must be nearby. Um, so yeah, I really just wanted to test it. So if you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. Sorry, I'm really being blinded by the sun right now. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.